Hello everyone. So after several um several hours of debugging, um I realized that I made mistake in the port number for PostgreSQL. So that's probably why it was returning a four four error because the port that I specified was not what I should have specified. So let me go back so that we'll see what I'm talking about. So if we should open the configuration file, I knew it was from this com configuration file. You will see that under DB ports, what I have here is 8432, but the port that is open that the Postgres server is actually meant to be 5432, which is the standard port for Postgres database. For some reasons, I don't know why, Put it for the maybe I was thinking Odo because Odo is 8069, so it's more like a typo. I haven't tested it yet, but I believe now it should be fixed. It's surprising how sometimes you can make mistake with something that you always work with. Uh, so now that that is settled, let me restart the Odo server. Hopefully, it should work now. Let me restart it. And hopefully, it should work now. So this video is just like an addendum to what we already have. So um, I will stop sharing and I will share my, let me look at the status first. So there are several commands you can use that will tell you, that will help you to debug. It was one of them that I used that made me know that the ports that I was pointing to is refusing connection. So let me share my, Boom. Stop sharing and share my phone. Hopefully it works now because we spent so much time already. Um, yeah, this is. It is sixty nine or the auto ports. That's one thing about these ports. That's why we need to use engineers. And finally, we have our application up and running. So with this now, um, so I want us to observe the graph in our database. So let me go to the Brazil. I'm going to see a spike very soon. You can see it's already coming up. But when we even add, let me add um, the early 999. When it starts to, let me call this auto for PSC test. For my email, let me just call Quilla. Uh, Outlook.com password. Um, phone number. I put my one of my phone numbers. Nigeria. So let me create database. So let's observe this graph. It's in real time, resource utilization. And this is just one of the metric that you can use to, that will tell you what's happening to your database. So it helps you 
using a managed database has a lot of benefits, a whole lot of benefits. So the database is creating all the apps right now. We're gonna see what's happening soon. So I just want us to see the dashboard and we would officially be ending chapter two. So chapter three will be on adding Nginx as a proxy server. And we are not gonna to need to be putting um, our port number anymore. And it will also help with the security. And it's, you know, it does, Nginx has some caching advantages. Then chapter four will be to add in our entire application. Yes, so we have this. Now, so let's look at this. Let's look at this. Um, wow, well, you can see the spike. You can see the spike. You can see how everything is just going up, going up. I would have this 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 is not an job class, else I would have showed us how we can have a look at more metrics around this. Let's see, Let's see activity log. Yeah, you can see so much is happening. Four minutes ago, accepted, succeeded. You can see so much is happening over here. Yeah. Okay, so um thank you so much. Thank you so much. Would be this is an Odo series, so be sure you will be getting a lot of technical videos on Odo as time goes on. Thank you.